see that star. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. Remember last week I said that I have a special guest coming? Well, here he is in all the night vision glory. Hi everyone. Who's that? <laughs> Tony we Kness. got up too early. <laughs> I decided I was going to come out early and cast at the shore and then Edward got excited and got up early and we ended up here about 5.30 and it looks like they're not going to open until probably 6.45 or so. So we're having some good discussions, good shop talk while we're waiting. Yeah, so uh, Tony's known for uh, catching some big striper, huge striper, and uh, what else? Oh, white bass, uh, spots, you name it. Beat up the lakes close to my house. Yep, <laughs> so he's about an hour and a half north, so he made like a two-hour trip yeah, this morning. It was about a two-hour drive. Yeah, that's dedication. <laughs> but uh, this is going to be the first time we actually uh, are on the same boat. We've shared the water a few times. So that'll be really cool. So today we're going to target trout, of course. Uh, I think he's fished this lake um, a long time ago. Yeah, before yeah. the drought. Well, when it was dropping. Two days ago we got some rain. It's super mild conditions right now. It's probably going to be in the mid-60s in terms of air temp. Water temp's probably going to be climbing up there too. Maybe what, like 55 or so, 56. But we'll see once we get on the water. Still dark. We had our time change. Don't want to make this intro too long, but... Uh, we do have uh, the hour got pushed forward because uh, spring forward and uh, it's interesting it's still dark but it's later so it'll be nice because then we'll have uh, more sunlight going forward into the evening so anyway guys we're just gonna wait it out uh, I forgot my sunglasses today so you're gonna see my eyes um, and uh, that's about it for right now we already got geared up we're all rigged and we're just waiting uh, we would cast from shore but it's about a third of a mile walk down to the shore so not feeling like doing that. <laughs> All right, so Tony is actually one of the most knowledgeable fishermen I've ever come across. Like this last couple of years, I've learned so much from him. And since we're waiting, there's still <laughs> another opportunity. I know earlier we gave an update and it was dark and we needed the night vision. Now we don't need the night vision because the sun is coming up. But he just shared with me a, a tip on trolling that uh, he's been using. So let's have it. What is it? Well, I'll run these trolling swivels up the line from from my bait. It's handy if you're going through a lot of grass and stuff because it'll hang up on, on your knot in the swivel here and leave your lure clean. And it's got so many twisters that uh, you don't get any line twist hardly. And to top it off, I throw a ball bearing uh, swivel on there too just to be extra certain because I hate line twist. Finally. Foggy. My lens. Oh, yeah. All right. So I don't know if you guys have seen my last trolling videos. You notice I'm shifting my uh, my motor in and out of gear uh, just to keep a slow troll. But Tony had a really good idea of these buckets. I'm gonna throw over the side. They need to be tied on, of course. But they'll create drag, so uh, it'll keep us trolling at the right speed. Uh, so that's the goal. So put that down there. There we go. And tie this one down. And hopefully, since they're square, they're gonna stay along the hole and uh, create drag for us. We'll see how it does. I'll keep you guys posted. Yes! All right, first one. Take you back to your childhood? Oh yeah. Straight back to six years old.
That didn't take long. It was like, what? How long, how long did that take? Five minutes? Yeah, it's that. I know, my GoPro didn't even get set up. Dang. Ready for you. Oh, she's nice color. Whoa, <laughs> swam right out of it. Oh, come on. She wants to go back around. Wow. Come on. Got her. Got her. Woo! Wow. That's a beauty. Gorgeous. That's awesome, you got the feather on there. Yeah. Give him a target. Give him something to look at. Oh, you were on oh. there. Yeah, he's pinned. Look at that. It's a, oh, bleeder. <laughs> she, uh, she, it swallowed it and then it yeah. pulled it out. Green tag. Green tag, new. Oh, that was a blast. Got the ultralight rod going, nice fight. I ripped the gills out of her, good to go. All right, first one. It only took like five minutes. Tony's rod started going. He's got a little feather at the end of his uh, cast master. So I think that's, uh, that's, there's got something to it. There's something to that. <laughs> My first one. The it was the feather. <laughs> it was the feather. It's not as light action as Tony's. I have a more heavier action rod. Say earlier, I love the sound of drag in the morning. <laughs> oh, he is a good one. You're right, when you when they see the boat, that's when they like, they're like, no, I need to get away. Run and hide, run and hide. <coughs> come on, come on. Yeah, out that way. Not in the outboard. Gorgeous. Oh, pretty color on that one too. Yep, he's from this year. First mm. one of the morning. Yes. That is a good one. All right, so two in the boat so far. Marking a lot of fish in this area. Got a lot of fog cover. Uh, even if it rained, yes, oh, well, two days ago. I keep on saying yesterday. But even if it rained a couple days ago, the water clarity is really good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, I'd say at least 10 feet visibility. So uh, once this fog moves away, I'm sure our flashers will do well. Um, but we got feathers at the end of our uh, cast masters, and I think that was a, a good part of the success early on. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if we can uh, manage a few more bites than we'll know for sure. But a lot of activity right under the boat. Got the side scan going, sonar's marking off all kinds of fish, so we'll make sure that, we'll see if they can bite, but it uh, looks like I'm, I'm getting a little play on this thing. Yeah. I think I might have one. He just doesn't know he's hooked. 
Got him. Ah, oh, no, he came off. All right, so the one I got earlier, I felt them, it was really good, but it came off. It's the first one I lost in all these trips. It's not my fault. <laughs> not even. <laughs> I just didn't set it, but look at that. I'm gonna troll a little slower, let that, let my bait pass right through that little, little school of whatever it is. Maybe there might be crappie moving up. That'd be cool. I'd be all right with that. Look at that. Right there. They're on our on our right side. Tony's left side. Naturally. Because <laughs> I'm off. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got him. Look at that smile. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that rod bend. <laughs> What's going through your mind? Skating in. I'm thinking that I love this. This is what I was born for. Oh, he is skating in. It's, it might be a crappie. Yep, crappie. We were just talking about that. We were just talking about this as Slab Central. Slab Central. Ooh, Slabalicious. Hook popped right out. Quick release. Quick eat. Yes, <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. If you're not gonna take him, I'm gonna take him. Quick hook release into the live well. <laughs> <laughs> that flare out. Very nice. Very nice. Well, this is a good time for a word from uh, our main sponsor, <laughs> Honda of Honda of Santa Maria. They, uh, that's where I work, so if you guys are looking for a car, come see me. Uh, email is edward at hondaofsantamaria.com. Uh, that'll help me fund trips like this, so you guys get to see more fun fishing action with guys like Tony fishing Noose. Adventures. Fishing uh. adventures with Tony <laughs> and Edward. So, yeah guys, in all seriousness, that is how I make a living. So, come see me. And if you have any equestrian needs... In Tony's Farrier Service, where I cover all of San Luis Obispo County, and it funds my fishing with Edward Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, equestrian needs. Uh, I'll leave uh, Tony's information uh, below, but he, he definitely takes care of uh, uh, your animals the right way. All right guys, now back to the fishing. <laughs> and actually, if you guys end up buying gear uh, from below, the links below from Amazon, uh, that definitely helps me out as well. Definitely check out that net. Rubber nets are where it's at. Rubber nets are where it's at, for sure. And then uh, I'm gonna leave a link to the cast masters that we use as well, uh, and my camera gear. So again, uh, anything you guys buy uh, definitely supports this channel, so I'd appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. All right, now for real, back to fishing. Okay, finally. I mean, we went on a little bit of a dry spell. We didn't catch a fish in like five minutes. It was, it's been like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're spoiled. Oh. Oh yeah, we're skating him in. It's a crappie. Actually, I'm, I'm not. I'm not mad that it's a crappie. Pretty happy. Look at him skating him in. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a slab. that is a beast. That is a beast of a crappie. What in the world is this? Look at that. Look at the size of that sucker. We were watching it. We were like watching my <laughs> rod uh, load up. And uh, I pushed the gas a little bit to make sure that he, he set the hook on himself. Because he was swimming with the bait for a while. But look at that thing. That's a good size crappie. That's big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huh? That's a good one. So I was just saying that I don't think we're gonna make it to that next point until we catch another one. And uh, as I was finishing my sentence, Tony's like, yo, your rod's going. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I like when I'm right. It's kind of nice when I'm right. So we were just talking about like odds too. Like fishing is all about, I mean, I, there is some luck. There is some luck in fishing, but it is all about just increasing your odds. Increasing your odds with rods, increasing your odds with the right bait, increasing your right odds with uh, equipment like fish finders. Oh yeah, it's a crappie. Oh, that's a good one. 
So these guys are going to start moving up here pretty shortly, and they, they've started moving up. I mean, we're going to start catching more of these, so, uh, yeah. Look at that belly. Going to hit the frying pan. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Uh, ran into Chris and Jared out on the lake. Um, they're out here. No way. I looked at their boat and I was like, dude, those are cast That's masters. What's up, man? Gold hey, cast what masters. And uh, I guess they were just Chris watching the video this morning. Uh, nice the last, to meet you guys. You guys last were video I did. So uh, they just caught two. So I mean, they might be in this area. They said they caught a couple up there. But I, that's that's the cool part about uh, posting these videos on YouTube is you help people catch fish, help people get on it, keep the sport alive, and uh, yeah, it's just a, a whole cycle. I like that. I really like that. I'm stoked. So Chris and Jared, if you're watching this, shout out to you guys. Go get them. Below his <laughs> <laughs> Can't make up stuff like that. Oh, head shakes. That's a trout. Oh yeah, that's a trout. I think you got my line. Or my line. Oh no, your line. It's a trout! We did it! Green tag! It is a green tag. Nice, <laughs> broke the dry spell. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come. Sign of things to come. So we did go on a little bit of a dry spell there. And then, uh, we we're going the exact same direction we caught those other two. So I think there's a pattern going on. Doesn't really take a genius to figure that out. But there's a specific spot where we caught all three of those trout. We're going to make another pass. Part of me says to stop and cast right there. But I do have some reservations. We'll just see how this plays out. We'll try pa we'll pass through that spot one more time and then pass through it again. And then, I don't know, see what happens. locations. Dude, he might be a bass. I don't know. <laughs> so we switched spots and uh, we're going a little bit deeper. Sun's out, no wind. Oh, he's a smallie. Mm -hmm. Nice smallie. Yeah. Not the right species, but Hey, we'll, we'll take it. When you feel the tug, gotta go for it. Yeah, this is a fat little belly so too. Pound and a half. Nice fish. Yeah. Let him go. Good boy. So, just as an update, the sun came out in full effect. Uh, we went across the lake. You guys saw that small mouth we caught. Mm, trying to figure them out. 
So uh, Tony was saying earlier that we are we are in mid, we're post and pre frontal conditions. There's supposed to be a storm coming in uh, in the next couple days. We just had one leave. So uh, I think the fish are a little confused, which in turn makes the fisherman confused. <laughs> makes the fisherman <laughs> confused, that's right. So literally like two minutes or not even a minute after like I put the camera down after that last update, I got a, I got a bite. And it seems like literally every fish that we got so far was coming this way. Basically going south, right? South, yeah. west ish. Yeah. yeah. Going with the wind, that's when the trout have bit. And we, I think this is a trout and he's running towards us. Catching up on him. And then he's gonna go the other direction, Mach 1, when he sees the boat. I uh, just picked up this American Hero Lose Reel at Dick Sporting Ooh, yeah. Goods. 29 bucks. Oh, no. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Got it. Got the fish we came here to get. Trout number four. Oh, he is feisty. Got him right on the top lip. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Went back to the one with the feather. That's a great sight right there. Yep, that's all it took. We got one update and then uh, two fish in the next 15 minutes. That was awesome. All it took was one scary update. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh no, we're gonna have to go for crappie. And then the trout were like, no, we want you to fish for us. Oh yeah. Well, the wind picked up, as you can see by the water, getting a little choppier. It might make sense to just cast out here. Oh shoot, it's twisted. Can you? There he is. If the fish is cooperative. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh, that's a good one, bro. Yeah. That's quality. Of course the good one gets tangled in the other line. Oh yes. Oh, perfect. Oof. Oh, and the lure just popped out. <laughs> awesome. That's a nice one. They're all stacked right there. Yeah. What do you think? Probably worth trying casting. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hop on the trolling motor. Oh yeah. Very nice, Tony. Woo. Very nice. Now we're on the board. <laughs> we're literally tit for tat. Like, he, <laughs> I get one, he gets one, and it's like just staying even. So it's gonna be easy sorting these guys out later. No one's gonna be like, oh no, that was mine, oh no. <laughs> Look at that. Our crappie are still alive too. Awesome, so tell us why you bleed them out. Uh, meat stays a little better. Um, technically, legally, you're not supposed to have live trout in a live well. <laughs> so, all good reasons. Uh, you know, just dispatches them quick and meat stays better, mostly. Mm. Perfect. This is trout number four for me. Does it feel like a trout? His head's shaking. Okay, good. I guess we'll see in a second, huh? Yeah.
this is the first fish that we got caught going this direction. We're usually going that way, trolling that way, but this time we caught him going the opposite direction, which is interesting. Could it be a bass? No, it's a trout. Going under my line. Yeah, you should come back underneath it though. Oh, okay. Yes! Yes! Oh, it's got a beautiful, like, Every time I think it's pink done. stripe. Every time you think it's done, it just. It just keeps taking line. Gotta love two pound or four pound line. Ooh, that's a good one. Solid fish right there. Solid. <laughs> Got him, right here. Yes! That's a nice one. What a fight. Oh, that is a great, that is a good fight. Fish. No I tail, see. but biter. That is a great fish. That's a good Woo. one. Oh, That's yeah. a beauty. I just made, made the suggestion oh, to stop and cast for crappie, but as I said that, I was like resetting my rod because I thought we were just going to head over to the crappie spot. And we ended up catching one. Yeah, the trout. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I wonder if he was just on it the whole time just and we didn't along. know, just swimming along. And then when I went to pull my rod back, he was on it. So, there goes that plan. <laughs> <laughs> the best laid plans. Oh, yeah. He's cute. It's a cute trout. All right, let me show them to you and then we'll throw them in the live well. Oh, he's a, he's from 2017. Oh yeah, a red that. planter. A red planter. It's got some algae on the, on the tag too. All right, buddy, we're taking you out of the lake. You're going home with us. We'll see you in a bit. Yep. Back at him in a hurry. <laughs> I know. With this wind. Oh, look at him flopping around out there. Yeah, we got some good wind action. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's going on over there? I think he's got himself bound up. In the lines. <laughs> oh, now he's oh, Look how much algae is on his tag. This tag looks brown. Awesome. All right, it's too windy to really get a good, good angle on them, but we're gonna turn around and hit this area again. Yeah. That makes number eight. Yep. He's got a red band on him. Yeah, last year's pretty nice tail for this holdover. What you got there? Got an extra light rod. <laughs> Largey on the swim bait. Oh. We thought Actually, we'd switch I think it up. It's on my top, we were on my crappie jig. Oh yeah. Mm 
like a pro. Nice! <laughs> the third species for today. I didn't catch a smallie like Edward. <laughs> <laughs> so fourth. Fourth species on the boat. Yeah. On the crappie jig. <laughs> well, that is a good jig right there. Yeah, right in these laydowns. All right, so this is the last pass until we call it the a day. The last pass. Yeah. So come on, trout. Bite. So the tally so far is eight trout and three crappie. One bass. Two mm. bass. One large mouth, one small mouth. Yep, two bass, one large, one small. And hopefully we can make it nine trout and then we're going to call it a day. Or ten. Or ten. It'll be Double. hard to, it'll be hard, yeah, it'll be hard to say no to a, a last, last run if we catch one on the last run. Or yeah, we might double up. That'd be cool. We shall see. Oh yeah, and just as an update to the bucket idea, uh, it didn't slow us down enough, and then when we would toggle back to slow down, it would just break all of our momentum, so it was just actually making it worse. Counterproductive. Counterproductive. Exactly. That's why they're just sitting on, sitting on the deck. Look who went for the ducks. Yeah. Didn't quite succeed. <laughs> Probably peeing while he's in there. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're seeing in the boat the whole ride home. <laughs> well, on that note, how was it? We did it. We caught a lot of trout, caught some crappie, had a great day. Can't complain when you're to spend a day on the water. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, guys, started off super hot. Um, right off the bat, we caught a couple. Uh, Tony was saying that if we were able to get on the water a little bit sooner, we probably would have gotten a full limit. Uh, we got eight total, so he got five, I got three, and uh, all on the Gold Cast Master. Uh, so that's I the. I tried my darndest to find something to replicate that bite. Normally, you can find another bait that will be similar enough, but today was a Gold Cast Master day. Because <laughs> you tried on like uh, the crankbait. Yeah, I tried needlefish uh, with the keel weight in front. I tried, yeah, lots of different things and everything was on the gold cast master. Even the crappie and the bass, uh, except for the large mouth that we casted for. But yeah, the small mouth was on a gold cast master, trout, crappie. It was a gold cast master day. That's right. <laughs> All right, once again, guys, uh, if you guys haven't yet, subscribe. Plenty of more videos out here that we're going to do end of the year. And uh, you'll see more Dexter. And again, friendly reminder, if you guys uh, are looking for a car, come see me. Equestrian needs, go see Tony. Yes. Horse, car. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave all the links in the description, everything that we used. Um, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.